52 inch gazebo is an indoor outdoor ceiling fan that is perfectly suited for large rooms and covered patios. We'll show you how to install the fan with step by step instructions. If you would like to skip ahead to a specific part of the installation, pause the video and use this menu for reference. Otherwise, continue watching for the complete installation guide. Copy the UPC number located on top of your motor assembly in case you ever need to contact customer service. If you feel that you do not have enough electrical wiring knowledge or experience, have your fan installed by a licensed electrician. Installation requires an installed ceiling outlet box that is UL listed and acceptable for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver, a step ladder, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and about one hour to install the fan. With your equipment ready and your new ceiling fan unpacked, you can now begin the installation. The tri-mount feature on this fan allows you to install it on different types of ceilings. For standard ceilings and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees, mount the fan using the down rod. For low ceilings, mount the fan using the alternate flush mount installation. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan with a down rod or skip ahead to the alternate flush mount installation section. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. First, prepare the canopy assembly by unclipping the canopy ring. Then unscrew the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. The hanger bracket can now be removed. Now prepare the motor coupling by removing the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Then remove the cross pin. Next, assemble the fan by feeding the motor's wires through the downrod and inserting it into the motor's collar. Align the holes on the downrod with the holes on the collar then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy onto the down rod. Then carefully reinstall the hanger ball. To attach the mounting bracket, remove the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires to the center hole. Then place the bracket over the screw holes and insert the removed screws. Tighten both screws securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket to hold it up. The tab on the mounting bracket will need to align with the groove on the hanger ball. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the motor to the neutral wire from the box. Finally, connect the black fan wire and the blue light wire from the motor together with the hot wire from the box. If your box has two hot wires to control the fan and light separately, connect the black wire that controls the fan to one hot wire and the blue wire that controls the light to the other hot wire. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Then push the wires neatly into the box. Assemble the canopy by sliding it up to the ceiling and twisting it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and press to lock into place. The fan is now properly mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan using the alternate flush mount installation or skip ahead to the section for attaching the fan blades. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. First, prepare the canopy assembly by unclipping the canopy ring. Then unscrew the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket and the bottom canopy cover. Now prepare the motor by removing three of the six collar screws to make a triangle pattern. Assemble the fan by placing the canopy ring on top of the motor. Align the holes on the canopy with the screws on the collar 
and insert the three removed screws to secure the canopy to the motor. To attach the mounting bracket, remove the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires to the center hole. Then place the bracket over the screw holes and insert the removed screws. Tighten both screws securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and use one of the holes in the canopy to hang it from the hanger bracket's hook. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the motor to the neutral wire from the box. Finally, connect the black fan wire and the blue light wire from the motor together with the hot wire from the box. If your box has two hot wires to control the fan and light separately, connect the black wire that controls the fan to one hot wire and the blue wire that controls the light to the other hot wire. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place, then push the wires neatly into the box. Finally, assemble the canopy by unhooking the fan and pushing it up to the ceiling. Twist it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and press to lock into place. The fan is now properly mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. The fan motor assembly is shipped with rubber packing mounts to prevent movement during transportation. Use a screwdriver to remove all five packing mounts from underneath the motor assembly. Attach the blade to the blade arm by aligning the holes and inserting the blade screws securely. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. Install all five fan blade assemblies by aligning and tightening the pre-assembled blade arm screws onto the motor. With the fan blades assembled, you can now install the light kit. On the light kit, remove all three mounting screws. Bring the light kit up to the fan and connect the white wire plugs and the black and blue wire plugs. Then align the slot on the light kit with the reverse switch, as well as the holes on the light kit with the holes on the switch housing. Insert and tighten all three screws that were previously removed. Install the two included CFL light bulbs. Align and lift the glass shade into the light kit. Press and turn until snug. Slide both chains through the guide clips on the light kit. If you do not plan on using the light function, the light kit can be disassembled from the switch cover. A plug is included to cover the center hole. Once the light kit or switch cover is installed, you can clip on the two pull chains and fobs. Power can now be restored at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. The pull chains provide an easy way to control your fan speeds and light. One chain is used to change the fan speed. Each pull of the chain cycles through the four different speed settings. High speed, medium speed, low speed, and off. The other chain is used to turn the light on or off. Use the reverse switch located on the switch housing to change the direction of the fan. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to create a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise and cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be stopped before changing the direction of the blade rotation. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your Gazebo 2 ceiling fan. Want more details or have any questions? Just call the customer service number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching.